Okay, today, one of the hottest days of the year, I decided to make pulled pork. I have the smoker set for 250. I have it getting up to temperature. And I went and I got pork shoulder from the butcher this morning. I cut it in half, deboned it. And I'm using today, a lot of people, a lot of times just use salt, pepper, garlic. But I really like this chipotle roasted garlic seasoning. And I'm loading it up with this, okay? And we're going to put it in, okay, and then we're going to let it sit for about three hours or so. When it reaches the temperature of 170, then we're going to take it out, wrap it, and cook it some more. See how beautiful that looks? And that chipotle seasoning really smells incredible already. It hasn't even started smoking really yet. It's getting up the temperature. The chips are in. Gonna check it out later see how it is I have the probes in and it's gonna take a while we got a few hours I'm gonna go nice in the air condition bring my remote with me that I have the other half of this and uh, just watch the temperature gauge okay so even though it's the hottest day of the year I could smoke this pork shoulder and be comfortable it's been in for five minutes and we already got a nice smoke going and uh, just gonna go inside and monitor the temperature. It's probably gonna stay in here probably three hours before I come out and even spray it. So I'm gonna spray it with apple juice when I do. What we're using today is apple chips. And the smoke has been going for a little while. And uh, on this electric smoker, you just turn this little handle and pull out this wood chip holder okay we're going to just throw a couple of more wood chips in not a lot just a few more okay I usually don't wet them but this one I'm going to put a little apple juice and water on it I'm going to put it in Dump some in the tray and uh, let it smoke a little more. Looks good. It's at temperature. It's at 250 degrees and it's going to turn out real nice. I'm going to go back in the air condition and watch my little remote and monitor the temperature. Okay, it's been going for two and a half hours. The internal temperature is between 134 and 138, between the two of them. Okay, I got some apple juice and water. I'm going to spray the pork butt down. There's a little tray in the bottom that collects the uh, ash from the wood chips. I'm going to dump it and we're going to put some more wood chips in. Okay, I don't want to lose the temperature for too long, so I'm going to do it fairly fast. Oh my god, look how beautiful that looks. Oh. Look, that looks incredible. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put some more wood chips in and we're gonna start going. smoking again. It really looks good. Okay, I'm gonna take out this chip feeder here. Okay. Put the wood chips in. Okay. Put it in. Turn it. Okay. And we're going to let it go. It's going to start smoking again. Once it reaches 170 and we wrap it, you no longer have to really worry about smoke. You just got to cook it. 
because it's, once it's wrapped good at 170, no more smoke will be able to go in the meat. And uh, as a matter of fact, some people could take it in the house if they wanted to and finish it off in the oven, but we're going to leave it in here. Okay, so it should start smoking again soon, and we'll check it when it reaches 170. Okay, we have an internal temperature of 170. We're going to carefully take this out, and wrap it, and put it back. Okay, let's see. Can you see how beautiful this is? Look how beautiful this is here. Okay. What I'm going to do is take it. Put it in. We're going to wrap it real good. Okay, it looks beautiful, smells beautiful. I'm gonna put it back in and we're gonna try and get an internal temperature of 204 degrees and then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna let it rest for an hour. Okay, once it gets to an internal temperature of 204, then we're going to pull it out and we're going to let it set for an hour and then we're going to pull it apart. Okay, anyways for internal temperature of 200 to 204, we can pull this now and put it in a pan and let it rest for an hour and then we can pull the pork. Just so you know, once you wrap it and I put it in, um, you raise the temperature to 275. So we're going to take these out, put them in a pan, and then let them sit. It smells so good. Wow, it smells seasoning, taking out the probes. going to go in the pan. I'll show you in a minute.
Okay, we got them wrapped, they're in the pan. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, in an hour, then we're gonna pull them. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Okay, I'll show you when we're pulling it. Okay, it's been resting for an hour now. Gonna unwrap it, see what it looks like. Wow, it looks great. Unbelievable, look at this. That dark color is what they call the bark from the smoke. It looks beautiful. Gonna cut the ropes off. Yes, I wash my hands, two forks. Wow. Start pulling it apart. Look how it's breaking apart, nice and tender. Okay. Let me taste a little piece. Mm. You can taste the smoke. Tender, the flavor's great. Okay, I'm gonna pull the rest of it. Put it on. Potato rolls, you could use Hawaiian rolls. I think they're a little sweet. And then what you do is you could put some sauce, barbecue sauce on it, or make your own pulled pork sauce to put on it. Some people just put a little hot sauce, or the seasoning I used was the chipotle. You could put a little more chipotle on there too. And then uh, that coleslaw is Marie's coleslaw. You get a bottle of Marie's coleslaw and a bag of coleslaw and you mix it up with that coleslaw dressing and it's absolutely delicious put that right on top of your sandwich all right so it turned out good and uh, we started at eight o'clock it's 5 20 now and we're going to be eating in a little while i'll show you a picture at the end check out my other videos on bear Bow joe a lot of archery and some recipes too